subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Sure thing. Let's dive into a tutorial on Python Asyncio and how to handle the event loop being closed. Asynchronous programming in Python has become increasingly popular, and the Asyncio module is a powerful tool for writing concurrent code. However, one common issue that developers might encounter is the event loop is closed exception. In this tutorial, we'll explore what causes this exception and how to handle it gracefully in your Asyncio code. The event loop is the core of Asyncio, managing and coordinating the execution of asynchronous tasks. It allows you to write non-blocking code by using coroutines and awaits. Before we proceed with the exception handling, let's have a brief overview of how the event loop works. In this example, we define a simple coroutine, my underscore coroutine, that sleeps for two seconds. We create an event loop, run the coroutine, and then close the loop. Now, let's see what happens if we try to run the coroutine again after closing the event loop. Executing the code above will result in a runtime error with the message event loop is closed. This is because once the event loop is closed, it cannot be reused for running new coroutines. To handle this exception gracefully, you can check whether the event loop is still running before attempting to run a coroutine. Here's an example. By checking loop.is underscore closed, before running the coroutine, you can avoid the event loop is closed exception and handle the situation more gracefully. Now you have a better understanding of the Asyncio event loop and how to handle the event loop is closed exception in your Python code. Happy coding! Chat GPT